If you're in the soap business in any way, you know that labels are super important because they're almost completely responsible for the first impression of your brand. This makes it really worthwhile for business owners and soap makers to take the time to create well-designed, high-quality, and professional labels for their items. It's easier to do than you might think. In this video, we're going to show you how to do it in under 5 minutes and in just 5 steps. We're going to walk you through the entire soap label making process from idea in your head to finished product. So let's start. Step 1 is nailing down the size and the shape of your labels. Start by measuring your items, whether it be soap bars, bottles, or tubs of any size. Just taking a ruler and jotting down the dimensions of your containers will help a lot with the accuracy of your labeling. You don't want to have to reprint or reorder your labels if they're too small to read or too big to apply. If you're working with a round container or something with a different shape, you can use our free printable ruler which is linked in the description below. Now let's head to our site and browse some sizes and shapes. With your dimensions down, you can find a label that fits your product perfectly. You'll see shape options that wrap around products, stick right to the front, and more, so just choose what complements your surface the best. This customer of ours used a sleeve label for their goat milk soap bar, and included a QR code on the sleeve itself. This makes sure their logo stays front and center, but lets customers know where to find them to buy more. So think of creative solutions like this when you're choosing your size. This is just one of the many examples of how you can use interesting label shapes to your advantage. Step 2 might not seem important, but it really is. It's choosing your label material. There's a ton of material options for you to browse here, so let's make sure you're using the right one. If you're ordering your labels custom printed, your options might slightly differ. All of our custom printed labels on sheets and stickers come with an extra layer of lamination, which is really good for durability as well. Before we get into aesthetics though, let's take note of what kind of printer you're working with. There are labels which work for inkjet printers, laser printers, and both, and buying the wrong material could give you unusual usable prints. Double check what you have at home or in office and make sure you order a compatible material for the printer that you're working with. Also, if you're selling products that'll spend a lot of time in the shower, underwater, or in other harsh conditions, it'll be a good idea to print your labels on a more durable material. There are a lot of weatherproof choices available which will keep your design sealed and stuck for as long as you need. This strength can help with any possible shipping damage and wear and tear over time too. And imagine how you want your product to be perceived. This customer used a clear material, which is great for a no-label look that shows off the product behind it. Transparent materials are perfect for showing off interesting textures and colors that are great selling points. Another customer chose our brown craft material for this label, which they applied right to the box. Brown craft is just one of the materials that work great for an all-natural or rustic look. You're able to fully personalize here, so make sure you choose what expresses your brand the strongest. And step three is designing your label. You can create your design from scratch or choose from from our soap label templates. We have a huge variety of templates for soap bars on top of other containers and formats, so take some time to browse and find the perfect one. You'll be able to tweak the details once you pick your template. Once you're designing, spend time perfecting the look of your label. Keep your brand image in mind and design something that makes your product stand out. Here's some tips. Don't use too many colors, font choices, or graphics on your label, especially if it's smaller. This could overcrowd your design and make it hard to understand, so just sticking to two to three choices for your design element is usually a good call. Using intricate fonts and really small text are also things to avoid for smaller prints. This customer submitted all these artisan soap labels, which include the right info and look really detailed and well designed without looking muddy or confusing at all. Including a simple image or illustration behind your main text and lowering its opacity like this is a great way to keep your background interesting and showcase your branding without interrupting your other info. Step 4 is ordering and printing your labels. Labels. You can submit your design and order custom printed labels, which ship out fast and give you fully printed, high quality labels that look sharp and vivid. But you can also order your label material and print them yourself at home. Which approach works better for you depends on your budget, how many labels you might need to print, and how much space you're working with. Once your materials arrive, all you have to do is align them in your printer and print out your artwork. And step 5 is applying your labels to your product. Take a minute to clean your item and your space. Even a tiny bit of dirt or dust can get in the way of application, so tidying up can make a big difference. It's a good idea to wash your hands to avoid any oils too. 
Then just peel off your label and start by applying the middle. Work your fingers outward and secure the rest to avoid any bubbles or creasing. Once you've gotten the hang of it, labeling products is super easy and before you know it, you'll have an entire lineup of labeled products that look professional, expressive, and ready to go. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and leave a comment if you have any ideas for what we should do next. Make sure to subscribe for more helpful label-related content and small business tips, and we'll see you next week.